and they're looking very good indeed in these early stages. Haddock the covering defender. Play on says the referee and once again Steve Terry the man who boots the ball clear from the back obviously under very clear instructions from his manager Stan Turnant to clear his lines at all costs Terry a man who played in the 1984 FA Cup final for Watford in a losing match for them of course when they were beaten by Everton good header inside from Kamara Verardi the nice touch Jones not so Terry the long ball again this time the offside trap is sprung and this time it's Andy Payton in acres of space Bamba free on the far post that's too long for him Askew will win the ball turn back nicely inside and that's a desperate last ditch tackle there coming in from Fairclough and Leeds having to work very hard indeed inside their own box there well that was a scary moment for Leeds United from the point where Andy Payton got free on the right he's cross finding Billy Askew and Leeds not really clearing the danger and the ball eventually coming off the toe of a Hull City player hence the reason why Leeds have the uh, dead ball kick Kamara the long ball too long for Verardi Hesford with the drop kick Kamara on his own elects to head nice touch from Chapman to David Batty Batty brought down Wayne Jacobs there just a little tap on the ankle he's a player who played of course for Howard Wilkinson at Sheffield Wednesday before joining Hull City and he certainly made sure there that David Batty's progress was halted Beglin and Strachan over the ball Chris Fairclough has joined the attack Kamara's in there too this ball hit hard and headed away by David Bamba Strachan does well, keeps his feet nicely there under challenge. And the crowd in the West End unhappy about the challenge on him. Referee says play on. And Batty looks to see where the next pass is going. And hits Demands with it. Beglin to Kamara. Kamara floats one in towards Chapman. The ball not won cleanly. Strachan, little chip over the top. Strachan again. Shooting chance, oh a lovely chance there. That was clever play by Gordon Strachan. There was very little room to work, the Tigers defence were hesitating. Strachan made himself the room and eventually won himself a corner. That would certainly have been difficult for Hesford to spot coming as it would have done hard and low through a crowd of players. And Strachan using his brain there. Vinnie Jones the header, the half chance at the far post for Verardi. Still not clear. Beglin belts one in, it bounces back off Demange. And the Tigers will come clear. That's a good ball inside, across the face of United's defence, and Henry the man back to get the ball back to uh, Mervyn Day. Good work by John Henry. Made a lot of ground there from that uh, position where United had forced a corner. So another chance for United. Verardi just couldn't get the touch at the far post. John Henry. Well, Henry was looking to get the early cross in instead. The A deflection from Askew wins United their third corner. They're putting the pressure on now. This pressure at the moment certainly looks worth a goal. Vinnie Jones on the edge of the six-yard box. Lee Chapman on the edge of the goal line. Hesford gets the punch. Henry the header back and that could be a goal and it is a goal. What a good goal from John Henry. Marvellous play from John Henry. 18 minutes gone, United take the lead. John Henry scores his fifth goal of the season and lying as he did on the edge of the box was in the ideal position there when Ian Hesford's punch reached him to float that header back over the whole City defenders. There was a suspicious of a handball on the line but referee David Axel quite rightly allowed the goal and United get the goal they fully deserve for their pressure and they lead by 1-0. Fairclough sends United forward again. Hendry. 
Bamba's offside. I think that was Bamba rather than Peyton who was offside. Bamba was the player running back. What a super goal that was by John Hendry. A lot of skill involved there. Strachan's corner coming in at the near stick. Wasn't a bad punch either from Ian Hesford, but only as far as John Hendry, who spotted immediately what was on and floated the header over the top to put United in the lead. Jobson away. Batty. Well, that was nearly a good ball. Askew. There seems to be a little bit of bad blood between Hendry and Askew. Hendry catching the Hull City player there, and again, referee Axel comes across to have a word with the Scot. So John Hendry moves on to five goals for the season. A goal in each of his last two games. In each of his last three games, of course. Because he scored at home to Stoke City. Terry pumps the ball forward. Kamara half wins the header. Well, John Hendry certainly involved in this game today. No question about that. He's enjoying himself. That's a good throw for Steve Doyle, back from Bamba for Doyle, but Strachan away for Leeds. He spotted Verardi away on the left, but can't find him. G Vinnie Jones can, though. Ray Verardi. Jones to Beglin. Gareth Roberts is across, Strachan inside. Made a lot of ground, Strachan drives the ball in, Terry pumps it half away. And Steve Doyle, at the second attempt, half completes the clearance. City certainly looked hesitant at the back when United put them under pressure. And this time there's no doubt about Dave Bamba being offside. I think there could be some rich pickings for United at the back today. Although, quite remarkably, when you look at Hull's record, they've only been beaten three times in the league away from home. And that's as good as anybody in the second division except for Sheffield United. That's a good cross towards Chapman. Chapman gets the half header and Jacobs completes the clearance. John Hendry, again Askew in close attendance. Jacobs and Askew, a nice one too. Steve Doyle. Pushed that ball just too far and Beglin was well in. Good challenge from Jim Beglin. Bamba, that's a neat header back for Gareth Roberts. This is a very entertaining game. Plenty of good flowing movements. Well, Strachan looks for the runner. Hendry did a good job there because he took the defender away from Batty and Kamara. Batty's ball is far too long. Slight misjudgment there from the England B international. Halfway through the first half, United lead by a goal to nil. Kamara are judged to be the offender there. So Hull City, of course, will get the free kick. Steve Terry will take it. Easily identifiable, Terry, with the bandage round his forehead. Pumps the long ball forward, he's looking for Bamba, and Bamba gets the header on, and Haddock, who were, Hull City were asking for a penalty there for handball. Richard Jobson, another ex-Watford man, pumps the ball in, too long, and Andy Payton's got a great chance to equalise, and well played Mervyn Day. And that was a good combination between Bamba and Payton, and Payton, his first touch led him down, and Mervyn Day did the rest. United swinging back onto attack and they get the free kick. The foul by Buckley on Verardi. But that was an anxious moment in defence for Leeds. The cross was too long for Fairclough. Bamba knocked it down and Peyton took an age really to uh, get the ball under control and Mervyn Day did very well indeed. That's a good cross in. Chapman just fails to make it two. And that was a lovely ball in from Jim Beglin. It beat the whole city defenders. And ultimately it beat the Leeds United attackers, the last of whom was Lee Chapman. And the big striker 
in his fourth game he scored on debut at Blackburn knocking winning off his knee and that would have been of course his first goal here at Elland Road and he remains still seeking it Jacobs the ball forward Peyton the man offside so a few anxious moments at both ends of the field United sweeping back from that uh, Hull City attack to put themselves in a very strong position Mervyn Day will take this one Chapman wins the header and takes the ball on again himself Berardi battling hard but loses out nice play from Askew, neat footwork equally neat footwork from Beglin knew exactly where his colleagues were Haddock into space and eventually into touch very grey overcast day here in Leeds there have been some showers this morning and round about lunchtime but thankfully it's dry at the moment and the uh, breeze that's affected us for seemingly uh, non-stop for about a month now has just about disappeared this afternoon and the pitch by the way looking very lively today nice play from Fairclough judge the tackle well Kamara looking to go forward Chapman was being pushed in the back by Jobson so Leeds will have the free kick if you remember in the last home game against Stoke the uh, pitch was rather lifeless and the players found it difficult to uh, get going on it today a different proposition Jones with the long effort and that's a screamer well Hesford looked confident enough he looked as though he had it covered but I suspect had it been heading for the top corner the big keeper might just have been struggling Jones from fully 35 yards chancing his arm Kamara wins the header Chapman the nice touch Batty forward lovely play by Berardi steps inside the defender there and rather unfortunate to lose out Buckley winding out and pumping that ball forward Haddock gets a nudge from Bamba but does very well indeed what a competent defender Peter Haddock is makes very very few mistakes Haddock Jobson this time wins the header Askew battles hard Demange comes away and good work from Batty the tackling has really been razor sharp on both sides this afternoon it's a good old Yorkshire derby this one so far end to end stuff chances at both ends and of course an awful lot at stake City trying to climb away from the relegation zone and United very anxious indeed to consolidate their position at the top of the table it's got the right ingredients and it's turning out to be a good one so far another big crowd here at Elland Road despite that defeat at Swindon the crowd looks to be well over 25 26,000 we'll have the official figures a little later Chapman that's a good header under pressure Hendry well yes I think his foot was a little high there no complaint from Wayne Jacobs I think there might have been had he taken a boot in the face Teddy with the free kick looking for Bamba Fairclough wins the header John Hendry just couldn't turn on that one Jacobs for Peyton and again his first touch lets him down and so does Kamara's as Hull City win themselves a corner always difficult sticking a boot in there in a 50-50 situation Kamara won the ball and Leeds lost the corner Steve Doyle across to take it Richard Jobson has joined the attack so has Steve Terry, Terry moving up on the far post Jobson on the near and uh, Neil Buckley another big lad also inside that six yard box Doyle with the corner, looks for Terry at the far post. It's won by Bamba. And Mervyn Day can let that one go safely into the goal area behind his goal. So Hull City, not short of ideas. Quite prepared to swing on to attack when they have to do.